Fibroids are a common finding in women of the reproductive age group. These are benign growths which can occur usually seen in women between 30 to 40 years of age group. They are very slow growing tumors which arise from the uterine musculature. Now fibroids can be very small, they may not cause any symptoms, they may not cause any problems in which case they may just be diagnosed as an incidental finding during an ultrasound which is done for some other reason. In such case where the fibroids are not causing any interference, not causing any problem, they do not require any treatment. But fibroids may be also associated with problems like you know if a fibroid which is big in size it is growing can cause menstrual disturbances it can cause heavy menstrual bleeding it can cause irregular bleeding it can lead to anemia because of the you know heavy bleeding it can cause difficulty in conceiving infertility issues miscarriages it can cause pain it can cause difficulty during urination or while passing motion which are called the pressure symptoms. Whenever a fibroid is associated with symptoms, it needs treatment. Now there are different modalities of treatment depending on the age group of the patient, depending on the symptomatology of the patient. One can go for medical management. If the symptoms are only heavy bleeding, we can initially try for a medical management with medicines and injections to reduce the size of the fibroid as well as to decrease the bleeding during the heavy menses. Otherwise, we can go for surgical management. Surgical ma management of fibroid mainly is uh, to go for a myomectomy. If the patient has not completed, uh, surgical management comprises of removal of the fibroid only, which is called myomectomy or removal of the entire uterus with the fibroids, which is called hysterectomy. Hysterectomy is indicated in those women who have completed their families. Myomectomy is for younger women who have not completed their families and who want to pursue their future reproductive concerns. So myomectomy and hysterectomy for fibroids can be both done in a laparoscopic or an open way. Now in the present time, we mainly are uh, uh, both open and laparoscopic procedures can be performed for fibroids. Laparoscopic procedure is better because laparoscopy is associated with minimal risk to the patient. It's a minimally invasive surgery which is associated with lesser hospital stay, lesser post-operative complications, lesser post-operative pain and early recovery. So when we remove a fibroid through laparoscopy, only the fibroid is removed. It is called laparoscopic myomectomy. And when the entire uterus is removed because of multiple fibroids in a patient who has completed her entire family, then it is called hysterectomy. Thank you.